We're now recording. Welcome everybody. It's our first team meeting and I know it's earlier than usual. I hope we have a couple more hop on now that I sent reminders. Did you get a reminder, Beth, and that reminded you? Okay, good. Yep. Thank All right. you. So my name is Sheila Favero and I'm a certified health coach and I have Lynn and Beth on here with us. And this is the second or third challenge that we've done together. And we've had others on the team too, and I hope they'll hop back on. So, um, let's see, since we last talked as a group, we probably talked about a month ago in mid-December. Let's just catch up on how we feel about our success over the holidays and what we'd like to accomplish. What I would like to do with this first team meeting is to talk about what we'd like to accomplish in the next six weeks and verbalize some goals. They don't have to be huge goals, but maybe some little mini things that we'd like to work on. And then we can help each other be accountable and remind each other on our team wall and on our team meetings of, of what we'd like to do. So um, I asked Lynn if she would start tonight and tell us about her holidays and what she's accomplished in the last few months. So will you start for us, Lynn? I will. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> I um, was telling Sheila, I have lost 35 pounds in five months. Wow. I know, isn't it incredible? <laughs> so, and over Christmas, I still lost weight. So in the last month, when Sheila and I were talking, we figured out, I couldn't remember what I weighed in December, but I've lost seven pounds through the holidays in the last month. So that's awesome. was a first. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I know. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So goal wise, I would like to, I'm, I'm kind of trying, well, I think the biggest goal that I need to do, maybe not that I want to do, but does need turn into want, Sheila? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> the, the goal I think I'd like to do is consistent exercise. Since it got cold in the winter, I am just struggling because I like to walk outside and it's just, if it's stormy or in the 20s, it gets cold up here in Idaho. If it's in the teens or 20s it's hard yeah. so I need to find a, find other ways go walk at the mall or something so I don't just walk depending on the weather yeah maybe once Amy gets tuned in she'll give us some good ideas for exercise in the winter she's okay up. she's a she's an athlete so she'll be good Yay. so hi Amy hi sorry the sound just barely started so oh, so I was having Lynn no was problem. just telling us her, why don't you repeat what your goal is and then we'll. So my goal is to have, to do consistent exercise like walking in the, I have back problems, so I'm kind of limited on exercise, but I can definitely walk and it's really good for my back. Mm -hmm. But since it's been winter, it's cold outside here in Idaho. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, it's even colder than us. Yeah, sometimes oh. single digits, sometimes in the teens, lucky in the 20s. Oh. So, um, I love to walk outside, and it's just been hard for me, so I need to come up with some better ideas for oh. consistent exercise. I call there maybe you'll have some ideas of things that could be done indoors or ways that she could get some movement in, even when it's cold outside. So if you'll think about yeah. it. You know, there's, I've seen down at the Newgate Mall, there's people who walk the mall. I don't know if you have a bigger grocery store or Walmart or anything like that. It's a little odd to, you know, just be walking around the store. <laughs> well, I've gone to Costco and done that, but we, we do have a mall and I can walk the yeah, mall. Okay. Yeah, there's people and you see them just, they're probably just doing laps around the mall and they just kind of do their power walk around the inside of the mall. So. I did two miles inside the Newgate Mall this morning at 8.30. Did there you? you I have found the key for me is having an um, exercise buddy. I don't do it if I don't have it either because I'm getting an A, you know, going to school for it, or if I don't have a buddy. So I have a hiking buddy 
and a walking buddy. It takes two people to get me moving. <laughs> so anyway, Sounds um, about right. that makes a difference for me to have somebody that I know is counting on me to, to go with them. And, um, and then when you're talking and as you walk, it just, I mean, we, we were done two miles and we're like, wow, we're done already. Okay. It goes faster. Yeah. So do you have somebody that, that you would, is that something that, or would you rather put in headphones and listen to music and kind of have a long time? Um, I usually do just as well by myself. Mm -hmm. It's just getting myself on a plan. Because mm -hmm. I kind of like that time just alone too. Uh -huh. Outside I do. Yeah. Inside would probably be easier with somebody. Okay, so how many times do you want to walk before you talk to us next week? Um, I want to walk like a dedicated walk three well, times. You're going to start slow, right? Yeah. Okay. Dedicated walk. Because I was walking pretty regularly, but since winter hit, hit and miss. Okay, so you got to work back into it. So yeah. just start with 15 or 20 minutes. Don't start with an hour the first day or you'll be crawling. Yeah, that back will act up. If, yeah. Is that true for you that you kind of have to work back into it? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do 15 or 20 minutes three times. That's good. All right, we'll, we'll have you report. Okay. Okay, Beth, what's your goal? Uh you know, I, I'm still working on it. I, I read some things today on our, um, I think, stay, stay, help, stay, stay moving and stay healthy or active or something like that. And I actually just did a little post on it before I got on this uh, little chat. And my, my trouble is um, I, I do my exercise, you know, two to three times a week pretty regularly. And, and the, the, the little... The little uh, reading said, you know, if you make a goal and then work to, work up to that goal. And I know there's a lot of people out here in our group that run and, you know, do do races and stuff. I, I don't, I'm not that person, but I started thinking, I'm doing it backwards. I have my little pieces, but there's no goal. You know, my goal is to get my exercise. That's it. And I wondered if maybe um, I needed some to rethink that and and try to accomplish a certain type of goal with it or and and I, I'm like you Sheila I need a partner well I don't need one I prefer one I can do it with a I have a really great uh, music um, soundtrack that I just created for myself and I the, I was on the treadmill last week I didn't even know the time went by because it was brand new I was listening to it I was all into the music and you know and then when it was over I thought oh I'm done and I was quite surprised but um, my walking partner of 30 years moved. <laughs> oh, no. I know. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. So I, I'm going to have to find a new partner. And uh, we actually did the mall, too. Only that was a downer for me because I, when I go to the mall, I see things. I'm happy until I go there. And then I see things that I didn't know were out there. And I start being unhappy with my own yeah. choices. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes that's a downer for me. My It's my self-control. But anyway... Yeah. Yeah, one of my friends does not like to walk the mall, so we actually hike outside in the foothills, and we have the snowshoes or Nordic track, I mean, you know, track things yeah. on the bottom of our snow boots, and we go Tuesday afternoons, and the last two weeks, the sun has been shining, and it's been so good to get out in the sun and bundle up warm, you know, and the yeah. snow outside, it's been really nice, yeah. and because and, she doesn't like the mall, because it makes her depressed that she can't have everything, yeah. Yeah, it's silly, but it's true. Yeah. And I actually have snowshoes. I I didn't think about snowshoeing except for I I notice sometimes you talk about uh, hiking, but I didn't think about using snowshoes. That's a good idea. You go snowshoes, and it's really quite nice going up the trails. And then we mm -hmm. decided if it's ever getting kind of icy that the snowshoes are goofy, we'll just go like to the local golf course or something like that. You can yeah. go snowshoe around the temple grounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You, yeah, I saw that this morning, only no snowshoes. <laughs> yeah, oh, I said that, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, I work today. So. Yeah, okay. All right, now we've got somebody that's joined us by phone. Is that you, Cammie? Um, it's me, Charity. Yeah. Charity, okay, great. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> Hi, Charity. Hi, guys. So we've Charity. got Lynn and Beth and Amy and Sheila. 
Oh, I didn't know if you could see me on here. So I thought I'd tell you who's here. And um, thank you. So we have, we're kind of going in order of that people got on and we're just talking about what our goal is. Oh, so we didn't talk about how you're going to reach is is your goal then movement or what or or you want to decide what your goal is by next time. Beth, what do you think? Yeah, I think I think decide it. I'm I'm having a feeling it's probably movement and exercise, but um, yeah, I I'm not I'm not clear on that yet. Uh -huh. But I, I will be clear by next time. Yes. Okay. And and if you want, um, you could have as a goal if you want to do a 5K. I'd do it with you. Okay. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't necessarily run it all. You know. Yeah. Well, I did. I actually did go do a 5K on Thanksgiving Day, and and I didn't run. I I would run for two minutes and then walk for five. Run for two. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Wow. That's good. Well, that's kind of a fun thing. All yeah. right. So, um, Amy, tell me what you'd like to accomplish in the next six weeks. Um, my the movement stuff I've pretty much got. Yeah. I've got the fifty k coming up in March, so <laughs> my my movement's regimented. <laughs> doing thirty k is like. In my, not my dreams, it's my nightmares. <laughs> yeah, so I got that kind of control. Although, one thing I've been adding in, oh, my stupid dog. Um, I've been adding in uh, some strength training. I'm trying to, I had that back injury in the fall, so I've been working on the core. So I'm doing two core workouts for 30 minutes a week, and I'm trying to build on that. So that's kind of, aside from all the, all the, Miles, miles are running. But um, water has been tricky for me lately, which I think just, well, with more running and stuff too, I have to, a little more than normal on long run days. So, um, yeah, I just, I think in the winter, I just don't want to drink as much because like in the summer, you're hot, so you drink all the time. So I'm trying to get my water in and probably focusing on good sleep so that I can recover from a lot of what I'm doing. So, okay. So water and sleep. So how much? Oh, how much water are you trying to get? How much water? Uh, how much sleep? The 80 ounces on regular days, and then on some of the hard workout days, I probably need more like 100, 120. But I'll probably do the extra in like the electrolyte drink. Uh huh. Not, not necessarily like a Gatorade with a lot of calories, but the I, I do noon until when. There's a couple of sports drinks that I do. Right. To get more electrolytes and because I'm sweating right, so much right. um, and then I lately I've been watching like at night to decompress I've been watching TV which I don't know didn't always do but then when I go to bed I'm like you know you've been staring at that screen and it's harder to go to sleep so I need to shut the electronics down sooner or like have it like nine o'clock and be done or something okay. like that so okay good so we'll have her report back on that next week my goal's been to, um, I find my life goes really well if I will turn off the media at 10, by 10 p.m. And if I'll do my um, reading in the morning, my scripture study, if I do that in the morning to start my day, those are my two things. It seems like everything else works. If I'll turn off TV at 10, or computer, whatever it is, turn off the media at 10 p.m. and then start my day right for me then so that's my goals i'm really working on and it's it's i've had the same new year's resolution so many times but this time it's really been working so far so that's that's what i want to report to you next week of how i've done with my bedtime and my reading so charity what are some goals you'd like to work on over the next six oh, weeks sorry yeah, sorry, I keep putting them on mute so you can't hear my kids in the background while I'm listening. And so, all right. Um, so, yeah, I I really you know for me it's like I mentioned on the on the um, posting on the wall. I it's food. I really need to work on on just those healthy eating habits. And so I've been and I just you know with start of the well with the start of the new year I was trying and it just seemed like every day by about three o'clock. I would be just really hungry and having a hard time sticking with it. And so I'd end up eating too much, even, even though I was eating every, um, you know, two and a half to three hours. And uh, my husband just got home. I'm just on a team call. <laughs> so, um, but 
but uh, but what I've decided to do is just get the food out in the morning that I'm going to eat for the rest of the day. And Sheila, you talked to me about doing that a year ago, and I did it for like a week, and then I stopped. <laughs> but um, I think that's going to be really helpful for me is just to, okay, here's the food I'm going to eat, and I have I have plenty of healthy snacks that are, you know, that are going to be good, that are good calorie and protein and all of that good stuff. And then I'll just have my kind of a, you know, do a lean and green meal at night. Um, so I need to get cooking that. But um yeah, I think it's going to so, – so my goal is to, to be able to plan ahead and stick with my plan because I have a plan <laughs> and get the food out in the morning. You know, that planning ahead is really the key. I mean, you sit down and you think, if I'm going to plan a weekly menu or just even plan the night before what's for dinner tomorrow, it takes a few uh -huh. minutes to plan, but it makes such a difference. If you don't have a plan, then – it's kind of chaos when it's dinner time, isn't it? Sometimes. Oh yeah. So that plan yeah, and it's that. just okay. I'm hungry, and yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, sorry, that's my. Yeah, that's if we wait goal. to make our decisions when we're famished, you know, when we're hungry, we it might not be the best decision. So that's a really exactly. good. Point. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to hearing. So what have you got planned for dinner today, or have you already had it? Nope, I haven't yet. I'm just going to have some grilled chicken and then some frozen vegetables. And then I'll make rice for my family. I need to stick that in the rice cooker. But but I'm not going to have that because I don't have the calories for that. And that's okay. And I'm not super hungry because I've been eating, you know, my good stuff. And so, so yeah, just some grilled, grilled chicken breast and some, like it's, yeah, some frozen vegetables, some broccoli, cauliflower, carrot stuff. So, and probably a little butter to make it taste good. <laughs> that does taste good. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. anybody have any questions this week? Anything about the challenge that you're not getting? You're all seasoned health games players, so you know how to navigate. How are you feeling about those new login things? Are you liking them, or are they a bother? They're a pain. I, yeah. That's what I say. I don't like. I don't either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of it, but, like, you know, a lot of processed foods and – yeah, true. I, I was on a meeting with all of the coaches yesterday. And so there were like a hundred coaches on this call. And that was my comment that I, and it, the person that develops the website, Selena, that if you do the contact thing, that's who you actually talk to. So I'm there able to talk to her face to face. And the, the, I said, you know, I went to put in that I got, I had two eggs for breakfast on Monday morning and the only choices it gives me is all these egg McMuffin, egg sandwich things at fast food places. I just said, you know, that, so they're working on getting the meta fast meals in there and then some healthy things. Cause I just said, I mean, I hadn't even thought of an egg McMuffin for years, but when I see this whole list of them, then I start going, gee, I wonder what, yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't need this in my yeah. life, a list of a hundred unhealthy things to choose from, you know? That doesn't. Yeah, I would think it would have more basic foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. The, um, the exercise calculator, movement calculator, um, is overestimating yeah. calories. Yeah, it it showed me like that I burned a thousand calories yesterday at, or seven hundred on my hike, and I'm like, no. Yeah, because so, I have some other things I track it on, and it was over by about four hundred calories. Which, yeah. if you're planning around that, is a big. That's a big difference. I think what they're trying to do, and the Meltdown Challenge is not run by the Take Shape for Life people. It's somebody that we hire to run the games for us. But um, I think what they're trying to do is be a fitness pal or something, you know? That you yeah. Know. And it doesn't so work. I don't, I don't need – so what I'm suggesting to all my team people to do, just put in, like, one item. And so it logs your food that you get the points. Yeah. Don't worry about putting in all those things for the day. It's just, yeah. And, yeah. and you don't have to log in your water or your fitness or any of those things to get the points. You go back to your main thing and you just click, yes, I did my, how, I did my water, I did my. So don't get sidetracked by spending all that time in that login stuff. It, it'll just be a frustration. And, and hopefully they're going to work out the, you know. Yeah, I'm sure it's the first generation they'll work out the kinks. It seems like I was, 
pinks and then it the next time it's really good so mm -hmm. but i was kind of the negative nelly of the call everybody else says wow we love the food planner and i'm like what planet are you on <laughs> yeah, okay. i'm usually the positive one but i wasn't yesterday i like the idea of it but it needs some work because i've done i've done fitness pal i've done yeah. other food things that really have it together. Like even the Take Shape for Life has a food log that you can do. It's really good. So I thought there's no reason to, log. if I really want to keep a food log, I'll do my own little handwritten food journal. Mm -hmm. Because that's the whole point of Take Shape for Life is that you keep track of, I'm going to have this many meals a day and I'm going to eat so many vegetables and so many proteins. I don't have to count calories. I don't have to write everything down. I don't have to keep track of points. Because, you know, I don't want to be obsessing and thinking about food all the time. I don't want it. Well, and the learning curve for their food thing, you know, it might be, end up being good, but the learning curve is pretty steep for a six-week commitment. And if, if we do Fitness Pal or Lose It or something else, that's yeah. something we're going to use all the time. Whereas this one, if by the time we finally get in the swing of it, the six weeks is up. Right. And all of our food things that we've studied and – put in, you know, like I try putting in some of my own foods. I couldn't even find them after I put in. Oh, because it said add a new food. Yeah. 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 I tried it. If I have to sit and add in how many calories and eggs and take time to look it up, forget it. Yeah. Same. <laughs> so so Same. don't feel guilt about not, you know, so log in whatever you need to do minimally, whether it's something you ate or not, you know, click something mm -hmm. to get your points. And no, um, something I suggested to Charity, why don't you tell them how you've been, what you've been doing to log in the morning, Charity, because it's the way I do it too, and I, I suggest it to everybody. Yeah, so I've just been, I've been putting the things in, um, in the morning for the day before, because I, so I don't have very many points for the first day, because I didn't, I started to, and then I, yeah, but, um, but if I do it in the morning, then I, you know, for me, my kids are at school, which makes it helpful, but also I, I'm not on the computer all night and then staying up too late because that's what I was doing in some of the previous challenges. I would I would stay up and I would do everything and then I would check out Facebook and then I would be on the computer and up too late. So so I'm just counting it for the – so I'll log today's stuff tomorrow morning, and that's been that's been working well for me and, and my schedule and my lack of self-control on the computer at night. So <laughs> Good. that's what I do. Another way I've done it sometimes is what I do is I, I log everything. I usually do my exercise in the morning. So at about noon, I go in and I log everything. Um, but I do, I put in my food plan of what I plan to eat that day. And then if I stick to it, then the next day I give myself the plan that I stuck to it the day before. So that's the only thing I really do the day, next day is did I stick to my plan? Or some... Some challenges the way I've done it is I put everything in at what my plan is, and then the last thing just before 10 o'clock before I go to bed, I just check that one thing. Yes, I stuck to my plan. So I have it all done except. Yeah. So there's different ways. You just have to see what works for you. Know this that there's nobody that goes in and looks at those things. I don't have access to go and see your muscle or your weight. Nobody, I guess the the website administrator does, but I bet with 6,000 people, she's not going to go look through and look to see exactly what you, what, you know, Beth gets this con, this thing note, what you had a hot fudge Sunday for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to read it. So, so whatever I <laughs> yeah. so whatever you put in there, I kind of somebody contacted me once cause they were really concerned that they'd put in all their points in the morning um, and they wanted to say, oh, you know, you need to know that I, I, I missed yesterday accidentally. So I put in yesterday's points as today. And, and I didn't want you to think I was cheating. I'm not tracking you guys and looking at 10 a.m. Who's put in their points today? And how could they put in all those points already this morning? I don't have time to do that. So, okay. So everybody take a deep breath and we're going to have fun and it's a game and it's the honor system. I mean, anybody, if they really wanted to cheat to earn $20 back, they, they would figure out a way. But I just, I'm not worried about any of your, you know, honesty levels that you're going to um, cheat to try to get your points. You know, it's just not going to happen. So. <laughs> if you're just punching the points and you probably aren't going to make your weight goals, you know? 
Yeah. That, if you, if you yeah. Cheat on <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Sheila, I have one more thing. Yes. Just so everybody knows that those side challenges, people actually do win. I won a water bottle this time. Woohoo! Because you sent in a picture oh. of a water bottle? Because I sent in a picture before it started. Uh huh. And I was one of the winners. I yeah. can believe it. And I probably um, could check the list of winners. I think we all can over at the right side. It always has the side contest winners. I just haven't thought to check yet, but congratulations. So have you received it in the mail already or? Not yet. Okay. But that's fun. So yeah, there's a, there's a side contest right now to take a picture of you, you as a selfie, healthy in front of your cleaned out cupboard, you know, the, all the junk food's gone. And I wish my cupboard was clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's the one for this week. But that's great. Congratulations, Lynn. We have a winner on our hey. team, guys. It's good karma. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> More to come. All right. right. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll let y'all go. I've kept y'all long enough. Any, any last comments from anybody? Thanks for telling us you're a winner. Let's let's do our little fist pound thing and and cheer each other on. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. See you next Yay. time. Thank you. Bye.